Hi everyone, Luca from lgmphotography.co.uk uh, In this video I'm not going to be reviewing any photography equipment but I'm going to be reviewing some photography books that I uh, personally have and have accumulated over the years No, over the years, yeah, I would say over the years and these are the older books from uh, made by Joe McNally Now if you don't know about Joe McNally I will put a link below um, to his website uh, Joe's been a photographer for over 25 years, I think he's an American photographer who's worked for National Geographic and uh, a lot of uh, very, very highly reputed companies. He was also the last uh, staff photographer for the time, I think. I may be wrong here, but I think it is. So it has an extremely high reputation. Uh, and I've started reading his book quite some time ago and I always loved the way he kind of put everything together. Uh, Joe is a Nikon user uh, so he, and all his book really kind of focus on the Nikon systems and he also have a couple of DVDs that he's come out that he has brought out <coughs> which I will put details below. Uh, but yeah, the first book I've read from him, which is not the first book he's actually made, is the Ocho Diary. Now, I must have read this book about three or four times. is It's just so good, and the good thing about Joe is he knows how to write. You know, it's, it's a thing to know how to use a camera, but how to write when you're making a book is obviously very important, and he's extremely talented, and you you, you do have a good laugh. Uh, obviously showing you all this equipment, you know, the number of speed lights. Uh, Joe has a really big reputation for being the master of speed light and the master of light control and I've learned so much from him on um, how to control your light, how to set up your lights, uh, what modifier to use for what situation and how to really understand the lighting uh, because obviously that's probably one of the biggest things. If you understand the lighting you can then control it, tweak it and uh, modify it. If you don't understand it, uh, that's where obviously problem starts. <clears throat> and I have learned uh, such a lot from uh, from this guy. So I've got all these books. The first book I believe he's made was the the moment it click. And um, this book is is not too about too much about the technicality of photography, but more of the behind the scene and how Joe sings before he takes pictures and it really kind of put in perception the um, the way a photographer think uh, before he takes a picture and shows the, 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 the good things and the bad things from being a photographer where sometimes you have five minutes to make a, a stunning portrait and you've got to use each minute uh, as best as you can but it really kind of show a lot of uh, emotions in the book and uh, things you have to go through to actually achieve uh, what you achieve. So it's a very, very good uh, book. The moment it click, incredible, good, amazing. The second one is done is the Ocho Diary, which is my favorite by far. And that is because it goes into the technical side where he will <coughs> kind of have a little diagram of where he set up his camera where his flash are set up, uh, what aperture you use and kind of make you understand why is used the setting very very uh, cleverly made and the good thing about it is you can actually have a very good laugh about it uh, is Joe is a very very funny uh, character and it does reflect in his book uh, I've watched this DVD, the latest one, which is the language of light and uh, it's brilliant but I do prefer the books and this one is by far my favorite book uh, because you can actually go out there and try yourself what he's doing uh, just to give you an idea of how it can be done so big recommendation on this one the third one is done is the Life magazine that's why I meant the last staff photographer for Life I think it was anyway <clears throat> uh, this book it's it's okay. Um, I did find that uh, it goes through the technicality of photography and how it works out. 
you know is lighting and all this but I don't I didn't find it as good as George Sudari. The, the good thing about it is that you can learn a lot from each one of his books, you know. It doesn't matter how good you are or how experienced you are. Photography is something you can just keep learning from other people who have a different skill and Joe has higher skills when it comes to speed light, lighting and uh, kind of seeing things and putting things together. So each book I've learned a lot from it. So yeah, Life, uh, which uh, I'll, you can also get on the iPad. If you have an iPad, you can get the application. Uh, it talks a lot about the basic when it comes to composition, uh, the color, texture, and how to work them together. Uh, so it's a very, very interesting book, uh, which I would recommend uh, if you don't have too much knowledge about photography. If you do, if you are a professional, successful, uh, I still recommend it because I'm sure you learn something from it. And the last one, which is Sketching Light, uh, which I believe this is kind of a, a reference to uh, his DVD. I've not actually finished uh, reading this book, and the reason for that is just I've, uh, I've, I've just been very busy. Uh, um, I've started recently going back into it. Uh, I've actually pre ordered it before it came out and uh, started reading and excellent it is very very good and uh, <clears throat> again here it kind of mix uh, his technical knowledge with uh, his yeah pretty much his technical knowledge but also his view on on the on how to take pictures and how to uh, work with the light uh, to make sure that the light works with you and not against you um, it's a, I can, I'm not uh, the best probably uh, person to uh, put a review in a wording for this book and I think the best thing to do is for you to go out there and get it. I mean, books are not that expensive. You're looking at between 10 and 20 pounds for a book, uh, but you learn so much from it and it's such a, such a good, uh, good story to read. And uh, what I like about Joe is that he believed that when you take the picture, this is the picture you should have. Also, photographer saying that taking the picture is only half the battle done, and you need to do the half, the half on the computer. Which I personally, you know, I, I do use Photoshop as well uh, <coughs> to uh, to work on my pictures. But uh, if you can manage to get the best possible result out of your camera before you kind of start the process, uh, well, what more can you ask? And Joe is really this type of photographer who will make sure that everything is perfect before you move on to the next uh, location, to the next photo shoot. Uh, obviously, you don't always, you can, you're not always able to work like this. You sometimes work under pressure, but uh, he's got a very, very uh, good uh, state of mind and uh, way of thinking. And uh, yeah. I do recommend that uh, you read his books if you want some more information. I believe all his books are available on Amazon. Uh, just to let you know, I, I don't get any commission for this. I, I have personally paid for this book. I uh, don't get any referrals or anything. This is my personal view on this book and for you as photographers, amateur, professional or super professional. Um, whoever you are and if you have an interest in photography, especially Nikon user, you will want to read these books. Um, if you have any question about it, please let me know down below. Uh, subscribe again and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Cheers. See ya.